All right, guys. So currently, right now, it's five in the morning. Me and my dad are the first ones up in our house, and we're gonna go to a starter boat and try to get some nice mutton snapper we're trying to go for. And we heard that it's rough, so hopefully it's not too too rough. Kind of do really good in like rough seas. So yeah. So I see you guys when we get on the boat. Perfect pinfish. There it is. Oh, it came in. In the bucket, you said? One. Bucket. In the bucket. Hi, guys. Obviously, we have a lot of current here. You can see the lines going way out the back. It's real strong. And we're basically inshore. Uh, we're going to have current all day long. Nothing I can do about it. And, uh, we're going to try further and shore those. So go ahead and line them up. Uh, I want to get on these spots. Oh, sure no. Other oh. Do. That way we can uh, have a better chance of catching fish. So, the thing is, I'm barking fish here, though. This is kind of frustrating for, for us to not be able to fish here because there's definitely fish here. But it's hard to get to the bottom, obviously. So, there's plenty of spots around this area. We'll go further and shore, try to get out of this current. But this is basically the Gulf Stream. Gulf Stream moved in real far. I got, at least I got a fish though. Yay. What'd you catch that on one? Yeah. What was that on? Did you see the Oh, for real? A blue runner. All right, guys. My dad has caught a keeper snapper, and we're gonna flame him up and try to cook him when we get home. So yeah. Back up, buddy. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's a mutton. <laughs> that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, right. He's, he does have to be 18 inches. That was like a 20. Dave. Dave. Hey Dave! Hey Dave! Grab the net! Oh! Nice mutton, nice mutton. Let me grab the leader. Put the net. Give me a little slack here. like a Goliath. Holy cow. Nice <laughs> Let's go. Hold them up. Maybe 17 and a half. Thank you. I saw the head shake earlier. Uh, you want to take turns? Can you try it? Yeah. 
<laughs> Just don't oh, put the graphite dog. on the rail. Fish pulls you out of the boat, throw the rod back to us. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you. I'll pick you up. Look that up, look that up. <coughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, yep. And he was right here too. Holy, that had to have been a grouper. That had to have been. It felt like it. <sighs> Dad, move this rod. Move this rod, move this rod. Move this rod. My rod's about to snap. Oh. Yes, because you didn't move fast enough. Yes, it was your fault. Oh, we're done? Fishing, not catching. That group we're hanging out, Jake. Hey, say right between our propellers. Say again? Right between our propellers. Hey, guys, hands up, Barry. Let if JJ plenty of I don't put them on. I gotta catch him. I got the rig in the car. Not unless you like staying here. I don't know. Dad, you got two. Did I get two? You got two. Yes. There's so many catfish over there. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. I already got all my rods off. That easy, bro. guys we just got back from the boat as you saw my sister's boyfriend Juan he caught a very nice um keeper mutton snapper and we got that already up on the pan and everything so I'm gonna be cooking that up today we're gonna do a catch clean and cook video and I've never done it on my channel before so that's gonna be sick and I'm gonna be showing you guys what I think about the how it tastes I've never had mutton snappy before so that's gonna be cool and yeah so let's get into cooking so first you need to make sure that your fish is cleaned and rinsed so it's clean and rinsed right now, as you can tell. Spray your pan with cooking spray and place your fish on it, which we already did. It's got cooking spray on it and everything. And, first, and you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and I have it right now on 400 degrees. And then next, you need to spoon some lemon juice onto the fish, just like so. Then you need to take some black pepper. I'll make sure it's open, hold on. All right, it's open. So you're gonna take it and go around. All right, so you got all your black pepper. Then, you need to have, I have six butter pieces, so you're gonna spread it out onto the snapper. If I can get it, freaking butter. That one piece broke. Then you get another piece right here, put it right there, and then three more on the other one. And then now we're gonna place it into the oven until it turns um, all white. All right, we got our mittens off. Make sure you have your mittens so you don't burn yourself. I'm gonna put it in the oven, just like so. And I have it set at 400 degrees and we're gonna wait until it turns all white. And yeah, I'll catch you guys when we eat it. Oh, look at that, that was juicy. That's gonna taste good. So we probably got another like five or 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hi right, guys, I just took the mine snapper out of the oven. Look how good that looks. Now let's get into eating it and I'll tell you guys about my thoughts of it and how it tastes and everything. So yeah. All right guys, so I got the mine snapper on the plate. Let's take a little piece out of it and see how it is. My first ever time having mine snapper, so. Mmm. That's really good guys. Man, that's crazy. So, I'm gonna tell you guys how I think after I'm done eating, and yeah. All right guys, so I just finished the monster snapper. It was so good, and I'm like one of the people that put like sauce on it, so I just put a little bit of lemon juice on it from like the beginning. So that, that made it like so much better. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me going on the charter boat and catching some nice monster snapper. I just saw we lost um, my sister's boyfriend Juan. He lost um, like two um, nurse sharks. I think I hooked up to a Goliath one time. And yeah, so I still it was a pretty good trip. And hope you guys enjoy today's video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next episode. See ya.